Aries, welcome to your September 2018 forecast. I'm Gemstone Tarot, I'm joined by a lovely Valentine the cat, who you can only just about see in a little shadow on the bed. Let's have a look for you Aries. I have had, I've got a few Aries very close friends and I've had a few conversations with them lately, plus the emails and the readings I've done for Aries have been what's the word quite taxing I think I think you live in interesting times and sometimes interesting is nice and sometimes interesting is difficult I think it's been more difficult than nice and of course Mars has been retrograde that changes on the 27th of August which I'm doing this reading on the 26th so that's about now really good I think that will help you a lot. Let us see, love in general, what does Aries need to know? September. Oh, that's a tricky one. I'll put you in the middle. 2018, Aries, 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 sun, moon, rising. Aries, if you're looking for a private reading, have a look in my description box for what is available at the moment. I have restricted them a bit recently just because I've been too busy and I do like to give it my all. So yeah, what's available will be in the description box. So do have a look if you want to, that one I want. That one I want. Oh, your cards feel a little bit, yeah. Seven of Wands, overall energy, fighting, defending. Some of you feel you've been fighting a losing battle. We have just had three eclipses on the bounce and a cupboard full of retrogrades. Yeah, Mercury retrograde, Aries has affected you a great deal. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Shall I stop making silly noises about your cards, Aries? Yeah, we've got the Eight of Wands in reverse. For some of you, there is a communication. And of course, we have just we are just about out of the shadow period of Mercury retrograde. So some of you are wait ooh, some of you are waiting to hear from somebody. It could be about a job as well, so it could either be love or work. This is a general reading. For a lot of you, it is about a person, I feel. There's been silence, there's been ghosting, there's been... There's been zilch, there's been nothing, and it's been a bit of a battle for you, Aries. Some of you also haven't felt like talking, you've felt silenced by somebody. You felt you haven't been able to express your feelings, maybe that your feelings aren't welcome with somebody. I mean, my closest friend is an Aries and I would say that sometimes the challenge for Aries is vulnerability and expressing vulnerability and being made to feel vulnerable. And it feels, Aries, that the energy that's being picked up kind of at the beginning of September is of you having been made to feel vulnerable, blah, vulnerable by someone else's silence. Okay, up here we have the Three of Cups in the reverse. For some of you, you may have discovered that there was some kind of third party situation, either at work where somebody was scheming to take something that was yours or to get a promotion that you wanted or just go behind your back. It could be in a group of friends where again communication has gone wrong within a certain dynamical group it can be colleagues it can be for a few of you for a few of you i feel like it's an issue to do with relationships and other people coming in on your territory you know we have this defensive card where you need to defend yourself and i can't ignore aries and i won't ignore because it's a particular card of mine that underneath that is the King of Swords. 
Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. At work, this is the silent boss. You know, the one who never says anything, but actually comes and stands behind you in a kind of sort of a way and gives you that I'm watching you vibe, you know, it's that. But never says anything. And you feel like you can't really say anything. Eight of Wands in reverse. For others of you, if this is to do with a relationship, it could be with an air sign person. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody who, as my mum would say, has taken their bat home in this relationship. Either you or them has felt the need to retreat and to cease movement. The Eight of Wands is a movement card. It's an eight. It's one. So it's fire. It's your element. All eights in tarot are about movement. Wands, of course, and fire move rapidly and they expend energy and stuff happens. This is my stuff happens card. It's my communication card and it represents Mercury retrograde. This retrograde period in which Mars was retrograde, Mercury was retrograde, I think Uranus is retrograde, Neptune's retrograde, does not suit Aries. You're number one of the zodiac. You are the trailblazer. You know, you come out fighting. You're ruled by the god of war. You're ruled by Mars, okay? So you're right, Aries. There is a need for you to fight your corner, something that you normally do very well. What you're going to find more difficult is to climb down from that fight when the inevitable talk needs to happen. Okay, some of you as well are dealing with, I've got two kings. On the side here, I've got the king of swords, air sign. In the middle, the king of pentacles in reverse. Now, this can be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or it can be a sign of probably a man if it's a king. Some people do read it both ways. I generally read it as male kings because of that masculine energy to me. When the king of pentacles is in reverse, Somebody has been unreliable. They've either talked a lot and not followed through, or they have made promises they haven't kept, or they've just become flaky. They've not turned up, they've not texted when they said they would, they've not called you enough, they've not... Um, we all know what that behaviour is. It's flaky behaviour, okay? Now, also underneath it we have the Moon in reverse, the Pisces card, but also... When we've had all these eclipses and full moon lunar eclipses and we've had new moons and we've got also a new moon in Virgo, which is quite, I want to say difficultly aspected, if that's even a word. It has some difficult aspects to it about revelation, about surprises. When the moon card is in reverse, for me, it is revelation. I feel like you have already had some revelation about somebody and I feel like there may be a bit more to come. And also I get the feeling, Aries, that you may have some revelations of your own. <laughs> I now have an image of you going into a room and saying, and another thing. Let me give you a revelation this time. That's the kind of feeling. And I quite like it. I like it. Seven of Wands in the upright. You know, a few of you may take on this King of Swords energy. He is clinical. He's got a big sword. It's like, you cross me, that's it. That suits you, Aries. I like it. And I think that... There is a, a desire to make this Eight of Wands turn up right, and I think it will. Not only because Mercury is now direct, and you'll feel it a lot more in September, but also because here you've got another Eight, Major Arcana, the Strength card. Self-mastery. Something you may have been learning over this eclipse period is keeping your gob shut, okay? We've got this for as long as you have needed to. And this can be to do with a boss as well, because King of Pentacles is to do with accountants, bosses, money, people who pay, people who hold your pentacles. Some of you have kept shtum. You've been um, politically silent, and why not? But I'm sure that that's not going to last, and I'm not sure that it even needs to last. 
And that goes for those of you in relationships as well. As well. You may feel a need to speak your mind. You may feel the need to jettison some bad cargo, some of you. If you find out literally that someone has been cheating, I uh, feel like you'll come into your own and you'll kick them to the curb. We have the Nine of Pentacles. This is an independent card. Someone who has their own pentacles, they're in their own garden, they've got their really strange dressing gown dress on, okay? They've got their bird of paradise. There is a sense of solidity and sortedness about this card. You don't necessarily need this other person. For a lot of you, it's walking into independence. And that doesn't mean for everybody you're going to break relationships and lose people. But you are going to lay down the gauntlet to people and say, this is where I'm at. This is who I am. You can trust me. This is what I have to offer. You either, I'm drawing a line, you come to meet me at that line. If you can't, goodbye. I'm not stepping over my line to grab you by the hair and pull you over. I'm not going to persuade you. I'm not going to help you. I'm not doing anything. I'm just showing you where my line is and you're welcome to join me at it. I like it, Aries. I like it a lot. Now, some days you're going to like this and some days you're not. You have the chariot, Cancerian card, the push and pull card. We have a black sphinx, we have a white sphinx, there's yin, there's yang, there's chaos and there's serenity. You may feel like the charioteer all month, that kind of, <laughs> I've got to keep the show on the road, you know, like this. And one sphinx is going that way and one sphinx is going that way and you're kind of pulling this one a bit one time and pulling that one a bit the other time. That will come together for you nicely. It will just be a bit bumpy. But Aries, you were born for bumpy. It's okay. You are the fire sign. You're the first one out. Okay. Then towards the end of the month, we have a full moon in your sign. Now, when is it? I've got my moon diary here because I am terrible at dates. Let me just check Aries. Full moon in Aries, the 25th of September. I'm going to check that. I'm going to double check it because I am terrible at dates. Let me just double check it. <laughs> yes, okay. We'll let it pass. I'm right. That makes a change. 25th, full moon in your sign. If you're waiting for something to be revealed or a situation to come to fruition, that is the time. That is the time. We've got that moon in reverse. When it's in the upright, it's more illusion and deception. When it's in reverse, things get revealed. Let us have a look at some love cards for you, Aries. I just want to do a couple of clarifiers on... Ooh. The King of Pentacles. And the King of Swords. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Hello, right, okay. King of Swords, some of you may have an air sign where it's coming around again, as Carly Simon would say. Judgment for the King of Swords. It's either a second go round with this person, a reunion perhaps. I don't really get any cup cards. So I feel it's a harsh reunion if it's a reunion. Or it's you reconsidering something about somebody judgments in the upright so you may well want to give them a second chance but if you do it will be a hotly defended second chance i don't think it'll be particularly schmooshy and love hearts and nice music i think it'll be more a case of i've drawn my line i you're more than welcome to meet me there King of Pentacles, if you're dealing with an earth sign, you may move on because you have the full card. Very, very auspicious, lovely card. New cycle. New cycle for you. This is often seen as an Aries card because like you start the Zodiac, this starts the major arcana. Here is the fool with his gorgeous dog and his knapsack and his white rose of purity and he's off. 
okay starting again now that king of pentacles and we've got that judgment card it could possibly be a new start with that person i don't particularly see it that way you may try it but i feel like you will move on if you're dealing with the air sign yeah it's a closely guarded second chance that's the best way i can put that is a closely guarded second chance let's have some chuck spezzano love cards Ooh, you want to come out you want <laughs> you want to come out oh yes buzzwords for love if you're single if you're single af as they say and you're looking to mingle yes adventure go dating it may be adventurous to you to put up an online profile it may be adventurous to change the settings on it it may be adventurous to go to different places whatever it is be adventurous and if you do fix up some dates with people make them outdoorsy you know stuff to do slightly um adventurous as far as that can take you in your local community in what you've got for others of you the issue is about commitment there's a healing card of commitment this can be what this second chance is about that's going to very much be your decision based on the revelations that you're dealing with with this moon in reverse aries okay because there will be something that comes to light i feel it's not entirely a surprise but I feel it's a mini surprise. So in other words, you had some idea, but you had no idea it was that much, okay? The problem card you get is using. Somebody you feel has used you. What you may be tempted to do is the power flip where you then use them for revenge, okay? I'll leave that in your very capable hands. For others of you just watch out if somebody used you before and this is a person coming a second time round have they really changed can they commit because you've got the healing card of commitment and the only thing that will heal this is commitment in your eyes and also it's what you deserve Aries apart from anything else now that three of cups as well uh, this could be about work Again, are you being used? Are you being taken advantage of, Aries? Are you being valued? That's the question. Do you value yourself enough to walk, to become the fool on a new journey, to look for something else, to jump ship? Ooh, look at your oracle card, Aries. <laughs> Chaos and conflict. Yay. That's all right. This card speaks about chaos and conflict. It talks about the flotsam and jetsam that's thrown up by the storm. That's my flotsam and jetsam mime, okay? It's thrown up by the storm and then the storm calms down again, which it always does. And then you pick over what remains and things have changed. And often things have changed for the better. Aries suits chaos and conflict, okay? But don't be afraid within all that chaos and conflict to seek support and also to admit your vulnerabilities. You are in defensive mode, but you can be vulnerable and defend yourself all at the same time. The oracle card you get, Aries, is nature. If you need to let off steam, get near water okay get near get into the forest get hiking walk the dog whatever it is get your feet on the ground feel the grass lick a tree hug a tree whatever you want to do whatever makes you feel good whatever makes you feel grounded because you do have chaos and conflict you know you you've had that for a while as well and it continues but i feel like it is a process of like when you have purification and you start off with mud and water and then the silt kind of shakes down and then things purify. They do, but it's a messy process. Consider carefully if you want to give someone a second chance, okay? Consider 
Consider their attitude towards commitment. That is the real buzzword for you. And if you're single, this is a good month for finding somebody in adventurous dating, okay? So Aries, do subscribe to the channel, share this as well on social media and check out my pick a card readings I've got. How do they feel about your readings and get back with your ex readings? Those are for all signs, so have a look at those. They'll be on my playlist and I'll see you next time. Namaste.